Okay, now we're gonna do a single leg step down. So finding a box, lower the box is gonna be easier. Every time you uh, raise up the box, it's a little more challenging, right? So these are all two inch blocks. So we got about six of them, so 12 inch block here, okay? Ideally, you're doing this with your knee at 90 degrees. So for me, it needs to be a little bit higher, but just for uh, demonstration sake, we'll use this box. Okay, so I'm gonna start off on top of this one. My goal is to go down, tap my right leg. So I'm tapping that heel, coming back up. Control down, tap the heel, come back up, okay? If you're having balance issues, go ahead and grab a weight, five, 10 pounds, hold it in tight. As you squat down, press that weight out. It'll help kind of balance you a little bit because it's gonna have some weight out front while you're sitting those hips back. So I'm gonna turn this so you can see what I'm talking about as far as those hips back. Hips going back this way, tap, back up, back up. The reason that we're tapping the heel and not the toe is I don't want you pushing off with that bottom foot. So I, don't, I do not want this. Anything like that, okay? Because I want all that force coming from that top leg. Um, that's about it on those. Again, controlling down, don't just collapse on the way down. When you're doing this properly, you're gonna be feeling this in the glutes. So we're looking for that hip stability, okay? We're keeping that knee in that straight pattern. So if you're looking in the mirror in the front, my knee should track right over the toe. Not going out, not caving in, okay? So if you are caving in, drop down the height a little bit on these. Um, if it's feeling good, again, you can always add weight, kettlebell, just like a goblet squat. Keep a sandbag, something to put on your back. Just making sure we're having that good form and we're not pushing off the ground with that uh, leg that's not involved.